Now, if you're an object-oriented programmer, you're immediately like, all right, dude, why can't we have the equip method right attached directly to the person so we can go equipped, person dot equipped, right? We're talking about this particular person. We want that person equipped. Why do we have to do this whole referencing of variables and whatnot? Well, we can get you halfway there first. Let me show you how it's done with the syntax, and then we'll figure out how we can deal with scope issues. So the first is we can literally attach it by just defining the person dot equipped with a slightly different function name. So you define function name, but you include the actual table you want to associate with, and then you put a dot, and that'll literally attach this function to the person. So rather than defining the function equipped and then naming it, you can do it all in one step. And that's kind of nice because then now you can do the person equipped. The issue here is that if this person goes away for whatever reason, let's say you have a, an other and you reference it, but then you delete the original, then suddenly all of this fails, right? You get no pointers. So we can fix that by being a little bit more explicit in our scope. So we can change the first parameter to say me, and that's who we're referring to. So me.damage, me.weapon. And this function is a lot more portable. So although it's forced to go on the person table, we've started to give it a, an idea of scope of who, who me is really talking about. Because if we have multiple people, we can't, this function would only work with one person. So we're kind of starting to define our blueprints or templates to have reusable functions. So we simply just change the first parameter to be the person. And this function now operates a little bit better in that it knows, I know I'm going to attach to this particular person. And you could change that if you created multiple people. So when you run, it works by being attached to the table, but it still works with the same scope, right? So it's still, you can see the equipped function is there. It's actually attached to the person. You get the familiar syntax where you say object dot do something or object dot data, such as damage, right? That functionality still exists, but this manual scope thing is kind of a pain. And while it's flexible, it's still painful that you have to have two parameters. And thankfully, Lua has something built in to fix that. But at least now you know that you can define functions on a particular table or object in line with simply just define it in the function name rather than having to define it and then reference it in the table itself. Now, the alternative is if you don't want to write it this way, you could do it the anonymous function way. So we'll go damage equals one. Then we'll say equipped equals, move this over. And we'll just take out everything from here, copy pasta, and make it an anonymous function, which has the same signature, right? Me and weapon, but it's attached directly to here. And if that's the other syntax you're more comfortable with that, that's fine too. They have the same syntax and they work the same way.